What's up everybody? This is Marlon Cox with Showtime RC Motorsports coming out of Richmond, Virginia. Today we'll be going up to JMW RC Motorsports Park and get a behind the scenes look at the 505 RC Monster Truck Series. This is something a little different I'm going to be doing here and there. Today we're going to be going behind the scenes. You'll get to meet some of the drivers. Me, myself, my brother, he'll be out there. You'll get to see some of the setups we're doing. The strategies, how we set the track up, and a nice look at JMW Motorsports Park. Nice facility, outside facility. So let's get ready to head on up to JMW. It's showtime. So I got my arm and stuff packed. Van Helsing ready to go. Headed up to JMW RC Motorsports Park. I'm checking on the clouds, man. A lot of clouds out today. I'm just hoping the rain just hold off, man. It, Got a little drizzle earlier, weatherman said on and off, then it should be bright and shiny. I don't see the sun yet, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. A few guys already called and said they're not coming, it's going to be raining all day. We got a few other calls, guys said we're coming regardless, let's see what they do. So definitely we're going to get it on. But uh, anybody that's in the Richmond area, Chesterfield, Virginia area, Definitely when you come up to JMW RC Motorsports Park, one of the unique things I like about it is that it's actually in the facility of a real racetrack, Southside Speedway. This track has been here for a while. Uh, it's a short track, but they race late models, new cars, and grand stock cars. And I remember uh, a lot of you probably know Denny Hamlin. He's from here, Chesterfield, Virginia. That's where this track is located at. He used to race out here a lot. Just coming into it, I mean, you know, you immediately get into the vibe of racing. Just knowing you right there near that big track, man. And there it is, Southside Speedway. Just a gate separating JMW RC Motorsports Park from the real track. Got a little history on it. I heard this track has been out here since like the late 1930s. And they said the track was just a dirt oval. Also, if you're looking to get a nice good speed run with one of those tracks, is X01s, it's a nice place to do it. But we come to do some monster trucking, so directly behind me is this track here. This is where we race the monster trucks on. We haven't set it up yet, but they also race like short course ovals on this one. And then across the field a little bit, they got the high back oval track. Man, the guys be out here running the truckies and buggies, man. 4S, 6S, 8S. I mean, wide open. And this one over here, this is the new one that the owner Ed Brewster just built. Man, this one got high bank turns, the little whoop de doos, plenty of jumps. Nice track, nice. And this one right here, still in progress. But this is gonna be the new rock crawling track that he's building. And you got the concession stands, and of course, you got the 505 RC podium. Oh yeah, everybody rolling in now. Everybody getting all set up, tension building up. Last minute preparations, you know, getting the trucks fine tuned. And, you know, people helping each other out, man. Make sure everybody's ready to go.
this beautiful young lady right here. This is my daughter, Michaela. She'll be helping me out with the video today if she can stay off the camera posing. As well as my brother, he'll be helping me out a little bit today. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? This is Marlon Cox. I'm standing here with the founder, the big boss man of 505 RC to put all this together. Mark, his wife, how you doing? Mark? All right, so how you doing today, sir? Um, all right, how's everything? Just tell everybody um, what you're going to be running today, your truck wise. Well, today I'm running the Emax. I'm going to run the Emax uh, brushless converted. And I'm going to run a Revo conversion. So it was a 3.3 Nitro. All right. But now it's electric. So Mamba Monsters. There you go. 4S on both. So we're going to have some fun. See, today. I ain't even got to ask this man what he got in there. What's your strategy for today? Beat everybody. Beat y'all. <laughs> That's it. What other strategy I need? Beat y'all. You gonna plug 505RC? Yeah, make sure you check out 505RC.com. Coming soon to your 505RC lifestyle go. apparel. So. There you go. Make hey, sure. hey, go. This is one of the shirts. You know, this is the yeah, older shirt. We got, we got a lot more coming to you. So. That's what's up. 505RC. Right. 505. All right. Out. Nice. Yep. Let's go. I'm Raphael Cox. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother. I'll be running the Thunder Tech Rage Clod Buster and also my uh, my game Terminator CPE Terminator Clod Buster. What kind of uh, engines you got in these things, man? Let's see, we got the Castle, the Castle Creations mm -hmm. SV3. Mm -hmm. And here we got the Dynamite Fuse brushless system. What KVs they got on these things? 58 on the Dynam 5800 KV on the Dynamite 5700 on the Castle mm -hmm. SB3. And over here you got 57, right? 57. All right. I noticed you got uh, B and H tires on this one. You got Rumbles on that one over there. Which one works better for you out here? Well, lately it looks like the Rumbles have not been given me. Well, no. The Rumbles? Oh. Yeah, they're on a on a it's like a picking Okay, buddy, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the BNH has been uh, picking up a lot better out here on the track. It's a little slick. The BNH got a lot more grab, threads. The, the treads are a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. But um, I haven't been driving too good anyway, so it don't, <laughs> it don't really matter what I got. It, <laughs> All right. And what's your strategy for today? The strategy today is to just keep calm, stay cool and collected, <laughs> and get one whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a championship win, but one win. Alrighty. Alright, I'm Frank Underdo. Mm. Today I'm running a stock Savage uh -huh. HP Flux. Everything pretty stock Everything on it? Everything is stock on it. She kicks ass. Mm -hmm. Alright. But I can't drive it. <laughs> <laughs> we know she kicks ass because the boys from 505 RC <laughs> get a hold of it and <laughs> drive it like professionals. <laughs> So I still got my training wheels on. We'll see what it do. So what's your strategy for today? Today I'm just trying to finish a race. I'm not worried about winning right now. I'm worried about just learning the track and driving. So if we can just finish the race because I still got to work on my jumps. All I think right. I got the driving down path, mm -hmm. but working on the jumps and finishing. That's the problem. Of course, you have to, in order to finish, you have to have the wheels on it. That's what happened last <laughs> two weeks ago. The one of the wheels came off. So, you know, That's we just tighten them up and we're ready. All right. My name is Tom Hook. I'm here to race the 505 Monster Series. Just have your basic stampede with some slight modification. <laughs> We've got some uh, bigger wheels, actually, uh, eight scale monster tires. I've uh, got a motor that I hand built in it. Running a. Hand built? Yes, sir. Running the uh, stock Texas ESC. And two cell, three cell, depending on what type of track we're running today. And what's your strategy out here on this track? Uh, keep it off its lid. <laughs> I'm on a very short wheelbase, and it's wider than it is long, so she's hard to keep rubber side down, shiny side up. All right. Is that bad market racing? Yes, sir. All right. All right, we got the JMW course lined out here. We're doing a SoCal 
Monster Jam style, West Coast style. Starting in the middle here. On a little ramp. Start on the little ramp, just right. like normal. Mm -hmm. You go around, outside, back to the inside. All the way back around. All the way back up to the cone. Back around. Come back down over, over the here. car. All the way back around to the cone again. Over the face ramp. Over the big ramp. And then it's a done deal. And uh, Gavin Johnson, many of you have seen this guy all over the internet with the tubers, all the pretty cars. Bigfoot. Yeah, he's a Bigfoot freak. Yeah, I'm a Bigfoot freak. <laughs> I can't help it. I like Monster Jam, but don't, don't get it wrong, folks. <laughs> Tell us what you're going to be running today. I got the Mad Force with me today. Mm -hmm. I got the Bigfoot Megatron Diablo. Everybody knows that truck. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mad Force ran strong last week, so we're going to try to hopefully have a good outing today as well. Megatron is ready too. We got him all fixed up, so we look like we have a good day today. What kind of uh, engines you running in these things, man? In the Diablo, we got SV2 and Tekken 358, 5800 KV on a 2S LiPo. All right. On our Mad Force, we have an Orion 2050 KV system. Ah, that's something running, different. Running 4S. 4S. Something new for me. I've never ran that before. I've never ran that type of setup before, so this is all new to me. All right. Mad Force is ready to go, though, nice and strong. We're going to put a picture of it in a few minutes. Yes, sir. And uh, what's your strategy for today? My strategy? Land that jump. <laughs> Yes, Jack, Lamp, the man. What are you going to be running out here today? I'm um, going to run my uh, same one as last year with a different body instead of doing the, the little Jeep. The Jeep. Yeah, I'm going to do a little Jeep. And what's your strategy out here? It's been raining a little bit now. Try to stay out of the mud. <laughs> I don't want to clean my truck. Okay. This was up. What are you going to be running today? A scuba. Scuba? Hey, Gavin. Ah, you driving the scuba. Hey, Gavin. What's your strategy out here today? To get cheap front wheels over the jump. And to not uh, <laughs> mess up the whole track. <laughs> All right. I love having a woman in a monster truck. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're here with Tim Meadows of Triple T Racing. Yeah, that's right. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be running today, setup wise, strategy. <laughs> I definitely want to know your strategy. <laughs> well, I'm on my first only one running. Mm -hmm. I'm running a 2.5 Revo gas conversion. Pull it up, man. <laughs> running a Mama Monster 2650 setup. Uh, hope it holds. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it on the setup. It's pretty much loose and hopefully the road. JMW is definitely a loose track. We got a little rain out here. I may have changed tires a second ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tires on. All right, that's Tim Meadows, y'all. Definitely late. Todd Petaway. Dude got more cars than anybody out here put together, man. We got wheels. Todd got one. All right. Todd Petaway, y'all. What's up, Todd? Oh, nothing much. What you going to be running today, man? Today we're running our uh, Tamiya TX. Nice. TXT is out here in the house. And then we got the uh, Summit over here on the ground. We got a Summit. And we got a Revo. And what's your strategy out here? This GMW track is very slippery, but we got a little shower earlier, so hopefully we can get enough grip to, to put the uh, speed down and get All it right. rolling through there. Alright. And take the jump nice and easy. So would you say the jump is like very important out here? Oh yeah. <laughs> you hit the ball, it's all over with. <laughs> there ain't no need to even run out there trying to set it back up. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Right, Appreciate it. All right. I'm Marlon Cox. I don't have both of my trucks out here. I blew one of the speed controls on jacks, so I'm not going to be running jacks today. Testing it out last night and just things didn't work out. But uh, today I'll be running the Crawford Performance Engineering Terminator chassis, Van Helsing. Some of you might have seen my truck on the internet. She's so, so pretty. But this is the backup body. I've cracked this one. I'm going to be running 5,700 KVs. Um, Castle Creation um, SV3s is in this one. Got some G-Made shocks. I got a Venom battery. 50 feet. What are you over here looking at? See <laughs> people over here spy on my stuff. <laughs> and my strategy today is to uh, land it on all fours just like you heard Gavin. Because if you don't land, you screw. No kind of man let you know. No kind of man unless you know how to land. You heard from my brother. I see y'all. Out. Tech inspection. Now this is where 
tech inspector goes through all the trucks to make sure everybody's up to the rules. You know, everybody is monsterized, big and monsterized, you know. And it's a monster truck, and it's legal to run. We still working out a lot of the rules. We still new with this, so we're definitely gonna get better and better with this thing, man. Everybody's just about up to snuff. Some guys are gonna transform over to something bigger. Uh, well, as we started out, it was just pretty much a run with your mom. But we growing and we getting better. Then out of nowhere, then came the rain. And when it came, man, it came hard. Everybody's running, putting their trucks under the table, getting under tents. And man, we was a little discouraged. But uh, Ed Brewster had his computer on deck, checked it out on the weather. Forecast said it'd just be a minute and we should have sunshine. And how about that? Within a few minutes, we had some sunshine. And the sun came out real good, man, and it got hot. It got real hot, man. Everybody got the trucks from under the table ready to get back at it. And soon again, it was on and popping. First race out the gate after the shower. Gavin Johnson found out real quick he wasn't gonna be flat tracking that big man for us trying to come. Todd Petaway showing what he can do with a solid axle, that TXT with clog axles on it. And here's me and my brother, I don't know what he was doing at the line trying to play mind games or what, but we definitely got it in. Todd hooked with that four wheel drive stampede, putting it to work. Making it hard for Gavin. Look at Gavin. He's driving. He's driving. Here's me and Jack Knapp going at it. Always a good competitor. Jack, you know, cut no slack on you, man. That little thing is fast. But all in all, in the end, in spite of the rain, it was a good day of racing, man. Jack Knapp took first place. I managed to pull in second. Todd Hook got first in freestyle. Good racing, man. And if you ever down in Richmond, Virginia area, looking to race your RC car, man, JMW RC Motorsports Park, nice place to go. If you want to get on with the 505 Monster Truck Series, you can go to 505RC.com, and we'll let you know what the schedule is, and... Big shout out to all the drivers, my brother and everybody for helping out with this little video, man. Big shout out to our sponsor, CalRC, no doubt. And until next time, I'll see y'all, man. Two, one, two, one, two, one.